Hey guys. Okay, I have been doing housework all day and I've just realized what time it was. And so I was um, fixing to start my kitchen duty for this afternoon, which um, involves canning sweet potatoes and cooking supper. So I thought, let me get supper in the oven before I start on my sweet potatoes. So I thought, what have I already got prepared? And a few weeks ago, I, I buy chicken in bulk. So I remember that I had some cooked chicken um, that I had in the freezer. And of course we have bacon. Um, and I have some tater tots um, in the freezer, um, which gave me an idea. I saw the other day um, somebody had, had done a tater tot casserole. I have never made a tater tot casserole. So I thought, well, let's just try that today. And if the family likes it, then we'll, we'll make it a family favorite. Um, and if it's a thumbs down, then we just won't make it anymore. So that's what I'm going to try today. I've got, um, I'm going to try to make this like a kind of like in between a pot pie and a chicken casserole maybe. I've got sour cream. I've got a couple of cans of mixed vegetables. Um, I got some cream of mushroom. I'm not going to do, since I'm doing bacon, I'm not going to do cream of chicken. I'm going to do cream of mushroom. Um, and yeah, I'll probably do some cheese and maybe some onion powder, garlic powder. So we'll just see how it goes. I'm gonna record for you guys so y'all can experience it with me. All right, first thing, I'm gonna brown some bacon. And as you can see, I have some minced onions in there. My family does not like onions. They don't like to see onions in their food. So I use minced onions for flavoring. So I'm going to, I'm gonna just brown up the bacon first of all and um, drain it on a paper towel and we'll go from there. Okay, you guys, I have my bacon finished cooking and I have it um, draining on paper towels. Um, what I've done here is I have opened my two cans of mixed vegetables and I have put probably, I'd say about three fourths cup of sour cream and I have opened my two cans of um, cream of mushroom and uh, I add milk to my chicken casserole, so I thought I better add some milk to this. So I'm not gonna fill the can all the way up, just about an inch to the top, because I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how runny it's gonna be. But to this, I got my spices out while I was doing my bacon. I'm gonna add uh, ground white pepper, because Mallory doesn't like to see the pepper in her food. And of course, salt, always salt and some garlic powder. Now I almost, instead of sour cream, I almost added ranch as I was cooking the bacon. I thought, I bet ranch would be good in this, but I don't want it to have a ranchy taste. So I want it to have more of a creamy comfort food style taste. So I'm gonna just use sour cream. So we're gonna see how this goes. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, I have sprayed my casserole dish and I'm going to line my pre-cooked chicken. And I just cooked this chicken, um, it was chicken breast. I think they were on sale. And I cooked the chicken in some butter and I think I put some salt and pepper and some seasonings on it, but that's it, just cooked in butter. Um, my mixture is looking a little runny but I remember that chicken tends to be a little dry, so I'm not gonna be too concerned about that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add my bacon on top of the chicken. And I am a meat eater, I'm a meat lover, um, but I always do when I, when, I cook, uh, when I cook meat, I always think about the animal sacrifice. So um, we had a, a hog processed and so I'm adding a little little pieces of Wilbur to our casserole. I know that might sound absolutely strange but I always appreciate the sacrifice of the animals um, that um, provide us with nutrition. So um, okay so I got my chicken and my bacon and I'm just going to pour this over it. Again I have no idea how this is going to turn out but we're going to see. Oh yeah I don't think it's going to be too runny once I got it over it. Okay. Yeah, that's not gonna be too runny at all. It's 
smells good. Okay. Now I'm going to add some tater tots. Now I have a five pound bag of tater tots, but I'm not going to use the whole thing. So that's probably half of the bag. So probably two and a half pounds. Actually, I think the smaller bags are two pounds two pound bag, so one bag will probably do. Okay, I am going to pop this in the oven. I'm gonna, my oven gets pretty hot, so I'm gonna um, put this in the oven at 350, and I'm gonna start the timer for probably 30 minutes since everything is already cooked in here. I'm gonna see how it looks in 30 minutes, and if it needs to go 45, then I'll keep it in there. But I am going to add some cheese to it. it. Just has to have some cheese. So anyway, there's the casserole. It's going into the oven at 350 and I'm gonna set my timer for 30 minutes. See how it turns out. Okay guys, it's been 45 minutes. It took 45 minutes in my oven. Um, at 350 degrees and I wanted to mention that while um, during the 45 minutes I had time to get everything ready for my, my sweet potatoes and also I had some celery left from um, last week you know Jimmy likes celery with his wings had some celery left I mean I never buy celery so I needed to need to do something with that and then I had an onion so I remembered that mother always started her chicken dressing um, for Thanksgiving with sauteed celery and onion so I went ahead and did that while my casserole was cooking and I'm gonna pop that in the freezer for my dressing for Thanksgiving so I am going to now I'm gonna add some Fiesta blend cheese and I have some Colby and Monterey, G Monterey Jack cheese. I'm gonna add all over this and I'm gonna pop it back in the oven for five minutes. Okay guys, it's been five minutes and my cheese is melted and look how beautiful that is. Looks yummy, don't it? Okay, while my oven was heated up, I also popped in some um, frozen yeast rolls. So we're gonna have some um, yeast rolls and then I'm going to cook some green beans on the stove, so that's what we're gonna be having for supper. When I get some test taste, I'll follow up.